very amazing friends this is world daily cyberland and we are covering a tool uh used for information gathering it helps to automate the first phase of your information gathering information gathering directory busting uh, all of those functionality of fourth uh, go buster their buster those tools that help you to automate um, um to search information from a web um, application busting directories looking for web content image upload all of those sensitive information you want to find when you're doing information gathering on a website not just the website but on um, networks and the rest before we keep explaining let's jump into the installation process now um i'll show you the installation guide so you can go along with this uh, um this information will be posted on the description below so as to help you um, make the installation process easier so all i needed to do is copy this git clone repository into my terminal and run it now because of time i already done that because of time i already done that i already got this installed all you need to do is paste it and it installs so let's see if it installs completely let's ls so there's a repository called kaboom yeah this is it here so we're trying to get the tool the name of the tool is kaboom so it's there this is a very easy beginner friendly way of installation i could go through a harder process but because of i know a lot of new beginners are watching this video and the interest of this youtube channel is to help beginners kickstart their journey in cyber security ethical hacking and keep the cyber space secured and find a career path in cyber security specializing in ethical hacking so i would go through the easier means to get this installed like you know we always like to simplify ethical hacking for uh, the students so now i'm in this directory let's quickly ls or let's list the content of this directory now i can see there's another directory called kaboom oh uh, but um let's navigate into that by copying it and still coming back and navigating into the same kaboom directory so let's paste it and see if we can successfully get in right yeah let's go back to the installation guide and let me explain from here so after you've cloned the repository, the next thing to do is to navigate into the repository you already cloned, which is the Kaboon, and then you ls to see if truly uh, you got an error or the directory was properly installed. And yes, it was in my own case. So I had to navigate into the second directory that, that it's in the Kaboon directory, also called Kaboon. Now, um, like I always do, which is my best practice to avoid error, I like to run um, the bash script. This is a quick, Kaboom is a, a, a bash automated script used for finding the vulnerabilities I already uh, listed in the beginning of this video. So let's quickly switch to, let's switch to, um, let's switch to becoming a sudo user before we can run that command to see if, yeah encounter any error i switch to that already i'll put my password you already know your password yeah i'm now a sudo user let's paste let's paste that in and see great now it's asking us to insert like an ip of what we want to run this automation on remember this is like a bash script you already know because of the dots dot um sh now i will not want to use a, an application i don't have a permission to test so we're going to be testing this application and we need to get the ip because it works with an ip obviously i already ran a quick ping scan you know ping will always easily give you the ip of the particular application you're trying to check if you don't have that already so let's quickly see if we can paste it here yeah it allows pasting and then we'll start the attack so it's asking us right now um where do we want to save it let's save it in slash home let's save it as slash home directory yeah let's enter it's asking us um choose the phase to perform let's do ivd 
let's see yeah it has us yes 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 shut down at the end of the script yes we want it to shut down at the end of the script now this is going to start scanning enumerating brute forcing forcing the application to release you know those good jobs nick to do you know those beautiful job for to do you know those jobs um ip scanners will do to see um vulnerabilities such plot one of the reasons i would want to use this tool is because it does a very great job that such exploits will do going to their network checking different ports checking different servers on that same application to see if they are updated and if they are that updated it shows you the um with the mechanism of such exploits what is out there that you can use to exploit it other payloads that are there you can quickly run back to meta exploitable to exploit or create your own payload um this is going to take a lot of time already has asked you do you want it to shut and shut down at the end of its scan and save it in your home directory that is why i had to create a place where i wanted to save it so when after it's done doing this um crawling and scanning and uh, to save it there all i need to do is go back to the same um location where it was saved and then i'll cut it to see the results would you want to use this tool please uh, leave a yes on the comment section so i know and if you've used the tool before and you encounter any error uh, i would want you to drop a comment so we can fix it together and if you know other tools you want us to cover use the dm to communicate um keep hacking